the right amount of rain, too much that we can't get here, or too little that it's not sort of a, a, as beautiful as what it is now. There are hundreds of birds here, and these are great areas to come and find. I'm trying to find gallinules, but we might need a little bit more, sort of more patches of water. If gallinules would be nice to see them in bright purple in, in, in colour. She not sure. If you look at the, you get the purple gallinule up here. It's the one I'm used to seeing. I've seen it quite a few times. This is absolutely spectacular. This is really lovely. Now, Bart, you're wondering if this type of terrain would benefit the predator or the prey more. Again, I think it's you, it's very specialised here. You might find some buffalo coming through because they'd like to lay in the mud. Um, the, the, I think the waterbuck, in my opinion, are the most suited to uh, this sort of area. Um, obviously, we don't have any animals like Sitatungas, which are also well equipped to sort of water logged areas um, so so anything that likes to live around in the marsh would do very well I don't think lions would like this very much you're going to get muddy paws again. Soils composed as a uh, decomposed plant, plant life like the muck in the Florida area. No, most of the soil here is. Can of ash. Oh, here we go. See? He's like, I'm not. I'm going to stay down here. Have a drink, maybe. Oh, I just want to move. He might want to come up this little path that's directly opposite us, so I don't want to block him. Well, he's definitely handling it better than our vehicles. Let's see what he does. You got him there, Fig? Quit shaking it, dog. I'm gonna go up one of those little pods. See if 
his head pops up and he just go backwards a bit. He, of course, might stay in the lugger. Oh, there he comes. Well, this guy is definitely a wet season professional, diff lock engaged through the lugger with no problem. But it sounds like Taylor's having a buffalo whose diff lock is slipping. was slipping. He's now moved out of his mud wallow. It was actually quite funny. He almost did a somersault. And uh, when well, apparently it was like a mirrored image. It was almost exactly the same as what we were looking at with Brink. Now uh, he's on his own and he doesn't seem to be particularly old. He looks like a um, sort of middle-aged buffalo. Quite dangerous here being all on your own. Now Anna Marie, you're wondering if there's quicksand in the Mara. I have not come across any. Um, I'm actually not sure. We'll have to, maybe we can ask Brent if there's any quicksand. I haven't heard any tales. I, I'm sure a lot of animals get bogged in the, in the muddy areas. Uh, we've had some very sad in the centre because it looked quite sort of uh, hard and the surface looked flat and looked okay. And that rock sunk and disappeared and we've never seen that rock again. Very sad. <laughs> no, I'm, <joking. laughs> I'm just joking. But, so that can happen here, most certainly. And, and the same thing happened if that buffalo were to go into the into that marshy area, although it could be okay. There's quite a bit of grass, so there's definitely some traction, um, but you wouldn't you wouldn't want to go in there. It's actually take, going the long way around, as you can see. It was At one point, it was walking straight towards the marsh, and then it's decided to sort of head a little bit further to the right and just graze on the outside of it. There also some cattle egrets, but I can't see any cattle egrets now at one point. Not cattle egrets, greater egrets. So, oh, there's a greater egret. In between the water buck, you can actually just see it. It's so white uh, standing between them. Uh, the water buck to the left. The big, that big, uh, can, you not, uh, can you see them? Oh, there they are. So there's the greater egret, that big white bird that you can see. Okay, so greater, oh no, I haven't seen all, all of them because I think you get this, this quite a few egret species. Sorry, I've seen three. I've seen the greater, I've seen the little, and I've seen the cattle egret. And uh, this is the largest one. Of them all, and they do exactly what uh, the herons will do. They do exactly what the starlings and they're following the animals around, hoping that uh, some insects will be chased out. And maybe one day we'll go to Botswana. Maybe one day we'll go to Zambia, and then you'll see cattle egrets riding the elephants. That is my absolute favourite thing in the whole wide world: is to watch elephants move through the sort of wetlands uh, in knee-high water and feed on all of the reeds and papyrus and all sorts of other lovely things that grow in there and then to watch the egrets hitch a ride but we're carrying on we're still moving along now i've seen a few hyenas as well but they're very far away but we'll try and see where they're going lots of warthogs along with lots of baboons this area is going to be very very productive uh, especially for the bird life and anything that's going to eat insects and, and amphibians might even see some mongoose and things running around here they like to be on on front, we may even see then, you know, lions coming around because the grass is so green and natural and yeah, everybody's going to want to chomp on it. And where the mammals go or the prey species go, predators will go too. There's some marbles up ahead, not just grazing. Oh, that wildebeest of buffalo. Oh, I can't see. There might be wildebeest, they could also be buffalo. It's racing about the ground. Just got a little bit further away. We are going to carry on here then. Where's that damn thing? I'm just also keeping an eye out, sorry I'm not paying attention to you. Because every now and then the odd little frog head pops out. I need to see some of them. Oh, and remember the other night we saw a frog? I think I identified it, I've just forgotten it. It's a rich frog. I saved a picture of it. Um, oh my god, I was trying to pronounce this name. I don't even I can't read this morning, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, I think we're heading to our spot, eh? So remember I told you a number of different times how there's this one beautiful section that heads to the bank of the river. I think we're gonna try and do that today. It just depends on how wet the roads are, because there's some really steep, slippery sections that we could get ourselves into trouble. But basically, goes back there, and it's also where this female leopard with her two cuts supposedly hangs around. Maybe, maybe she'll be out grooming her young cubs. That's what we're going to wish for. So Byron has been hopping in and out of his car this morning. He's probably looking at some tracks. Shall we challenge him to a bird challenge? Let's go and see what he says. Uh, no, it's 
Taylor, we won't turn this into a bird challenge. I did my bird challenge last uh, the last time I was here. She and has to come get you. I can't let you out. Ah, yeah, I know. else this morning and again I'm sure this weather has got something to do with it cold windy conditions